How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over a problem called flipping an image. This is a common lead code question in interview questions asked by Google. It says given a bi uh, binary matrix A, we want to flip the image horizontally and then invert it and return the resulting image. To flip an image horizontally means that each row of the image is reversed. For example, flipping 110 horizontally results in 011. So we're flipping it like this, right? So we have an image that's in this state and we're flipping it to this state. To invert an image means that each zero is replaced by a one and each one is replaced by a zero. For example, inverting zero, one, one results in one, zero, zero because we're changing every one to a zero and every zero to a one. So if you look at the first example here, this is our array A to begin with and this is our output. And so if we walk through, let's just say the first row in the matrix, one, one, zero, first we reverse the row so it becomes zero, zero, one and then we want to go through that row and we want to flip every zero to a one and every one to a zero. So the first zero becomes a one and the last two ones become zeros. So once we've flipped uh, the entire array and inverted it, or sorry, flipped the entire matrix and inverted the entire matrix, we're done. So the image has been successfully flipped. So all we're really doing when we flip an image horizontally, all we're doing is swapping indices of the first thing and the last thing, the second and last thing and the second thing, we're just swapping. So first thing we have to do is go through the matrix, go through each row in the matrix and just swap everything in each row. And then what we can do is once we're done doing that, we could basically just look through the matrix and just say, are you a zero? Become a one. Are you a one? Become a zero. So I don't think really there's like a more optimal way to do this kind of problem. It's, it's pretty straightforward. I feel like it's kind of asked in a confusing way especially if they didn't tell you uh, what flipping horizontally meant necessarily and you just kind of had to figure it out. But I think that's the general approach we want to take. So let's start writing the code. So again, we're going through all the rows in the matrix. We're swapping everything in a row. Last thing uh, swaps with the first thing. So, uh, second thing swaps with the second and last thing and so on and so forth. And then we're just going to ask for that same row. Is this thing a zero become a one? Is this thing a one become a zero? So let's do that. So we want a loop that's going to go through our entire matrix, right? So we'll say four int i equals zero. Well, i is less than a dot length, i plus plus. And now we said for the current row that we're on, we want to do our swapping. So we're going to use two pointers, i, or sorry, j and k in this case, because we already have an i. So we'll say int j equals zero, int k equals a of i dot length minus one. And a of i dot length minus one will make sure that we start at our last index and not out of bounds of it. So now we'll just say wow j is less than k, meaning like wow these two pointers haven't met in the middle, we still have elements to swap. So we'll store the first thing, so we'll say int temp equals a of i j. And now that we've stored a of i j, we can set a of i j equal to the other thing. So a of i j is going to be equal to a of i k, because that's our pointer towards the back of the current row. And then we can set a of i k equal to our temporary variable. And we need to remember to increment j and decrement k every iteration. So once this loop is finished, we have successfully swapped everything in the row that we're on. So now the only thing that's left to do is go through the same row and change every 0 to a 1, every 1 to a 0. So let's do that quickly. So we'll just have for int, actually we could just reuse a variable. We could just say like j equals 0 again j is less than a of i dot length, j plus plus, and we're gonna set a of i j, right? i is the current row in the matrix and j will be the current column and we just wanna iterate through this row. And we're gonna set it equal to the opposite of what it is, right? So we'll ask, is a of i j equal to a one? Question mark, if that is the case, we wanna set it to a zero. Sorry, we wanna set it to a zero. Otherwise, we wanna set it to a one. So if a of i j is a one, it becomes a zero. Otherwise, if a of i j uh, is a zero, it becomes a one. And that should actually invert the row that we're on. And so now once this loop finishes, our row will be inverted. So I think all of our work is done. So all we have to do now is return the resulting a that we've changed. So again, this loop is going through the entire matrix rows, all the rows in the matrix. This first loop here is just going to swap everything in the current row. So that's flipping it horizontally. And then the finally, all we have to do is actually invert the value. So this will go through this loop here. And this will say, is this a one? Change it to a zero. Is this a zero? Turn it to a one. 
So once we return A here, that should be the resulting image. Awesome, and it is. So guys, that's how to solve flipping an image in Java. This is a common question that's asked by Google. If you guys have any questions you guys want me to solve, be sure to leave them in the comments. If this was helpful and you wanna help me, be sure to share this video with anyone who might need to see it. All right guys, good luck on your interviews and I'll see you next time.